have made it. We have made it to the very last episode of Tokyo Ghoul. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's for today, bringing you guys back with a brand new Tokyo Ghoul reaction video today. As I said, man, we are going to be reacting to the final episode in Tokyo Ghoul, and it pains me. It pains me to say that this is the final episode. We made 50 Tokyo Ghoul videos now. We've reacted to season one through season four. We've watched the OVA. So after this, there is literally going to be nothing unless they make something new in the future to watch of Tokyo Ghoul. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this series reaction of Tokyo Ghoul. If you guys have, you already know to do by now. Be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel. If you guys are new to this channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. Appreciate it. Also, bear in mind that I do, in fact, have a Patreon. So, if you do want to view the full reaction to this series of Tokyo Ghoul or any of my other YouTube videos that I do post, then you guys can actually find the full reactions over there on the Patreon page. You guys get full reaction videos, early access content, and exclusive series reactions over there on the Patreon page. Thank you guys so, so much. It does help the channel tremendously. I'm really, really sad. This is the final episode, man. This is the, this is it. This is all we get of Tokyo Ghoul unless they make something new in the future and it's kind of sad man this is one of the first shows that we actually watch on this channel this is going to be one of the first that we actually finish on this channel and i'm sad so with that being said i'm hyped up i'm excited if you guys are excited you guys are into to do let's jump inside this episode last episode was very very crazy we saw a multiple different you know amounts of different fight scenes and stuff happening with you know yomo futura and kaneki is about to be set up and actually done up in this episode we saw you know the the new owl being being able to get taken down Amon versus Donato and oh my gosh dude so much happened so much is gonna happen inside this final episode I don't know how they're gonna cram it inside of this single episode I I really I feel like they could have made like two more seasons and kind of like prolonged everything and kind of like stretched out a little bit because it, they just crammed so much in these episodes dude but nonetheless enough talk I'm excited for this final episode of Tokyo Ghoul. Hopefully you guys are excited. But with that being said, let's go through and dive right into this episode. The final episode of Tokyo Ghoul. Aw, oh, it's the butterfly. I wonder if this is the same butterfly that, uh, that one person snatched and let go. Who was it? Arima? I think it was Arima. Oh, there's Futura. We're we gonna learn a little bit more about him. Hopefully we see how he turned out, because as of now, my man is absolutely crazy. Oh, we're getting down with it already. Oh my gosh, Kataki. This is your final battle. Good luck. Jeez. Cut off his Kagane. Oh my god, Kataki, get serious, bro. Jesus, Futura doesn't play around. Final boss, definitely. I would rather help him. He'd have a sword. That'd be kind of cool. Do you have a sword, Kataki? Kataki has a sword. <laughs> Let's go. Bro, how strong is this guy? Let's carve each other, bro. He's crazy. He's insane. Come on, Kataki. Oh my gosh. Good job. This guy is insane! I knew he was, but this insane? Jeez. Turn around, did you lose an eye or what? Where'd he get hit? What is he about to- are you about to transform? Oh my gosh! Yo! Let's play, oh my gosh! That's gonna be an epic battle. Back here, Yuri, Juzao, Suzuki, everybody's putting in work. We likes this. Oh my gosh, this is such a good episode already. Ooh, my man's ducking and weaving. Better be careful. Oh my gosh, man. Insane. I love the metal clashing and stuff. This anime's great. Jeez, Kaneki. Did he get hit? Oh my gosh! Yo! Kaneki, what? Furita is very strong. Aw, man. Come on, Kaneki. You've done the best you could do, brother. You tell him, bro. You tell him. Oh, my gosh. So epic. So awesome. 
Yo, what? Oh my god, Kaneki transformation! Kaneki is a god! Whoa! Cut off his arm? Jesus, dude, this episode's insane. Don't you what you did to Tokyo? Aw, man. Bro, look at Kaneki's transformation. He's got a lot of bodies on him, man. Shut up, man. Bro, my man's going off on him. Wow. Bro, Furita is spitting, man. Shut up, man. <laughs> You're not right. Wow. This is an epic scene. Nah, not this time. Come on, we gotta get our happy end. Get him, Kaneki. Bro, Furita doesn't mess around, man. This is awesome. Is he transforming right now? Bro, this guy's insane! He's turning into a little demon! He's a demon! <laughs> oh my gosh! This is what I wanted, man! This is the animation that I wanted! I didn't want this, though. Kaneki, bro. Kaneki, we gonna need a little bit more out of you, man. Oh my gosh! This guy is insane! He's too strong. Kaneki, we need Kaneji or somebody. We need you to turn up for the one time. Orchestra in the background. Oh, man. Let's go. Get him, Kaneki. That is so cool. Bro, this is awesome. This is the animation that I wanted for the final episode. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. Who's going to win? You got to fight for him, man. Yeah, you got that wind of strength. Oh my gosh! Good job, Kaneki! Finish it! Don't hesitate. He didn't hesitate. I thought he was going to. <laughs> oh my gosh, did he win? That was epic. That was epic. That was epic. That was epic. That was awesome! That's what I've been waiting for. What happened? Oh, now you're doing the finger crack. Okay. Go crazy! Go crazy. Oh gosh. Furita got wiped. Oh my gosh, man. Wow. Jesus, that guy got ripped. Jeez, this is this Furita's last speech. That is true, it all started with Rize. But as Kaneki said, he doesn't regret any of it. Yep. Aw, oh, man, I got the chills! Kaneki is who he is because of what he went through. Throughout all Tokyo Ghoul. But Kaneki always gets back up, right? Aw, oh, man, let's go! Got the teary eyes, man. And both eyes this time. Usually it's just one eye that I have the teary eyes, but... Oh, man, I'm sad. Go through the journey again. Man, powerful, dude. I'm sad that this is the last episode. Oh, no words. No words, man. Man, why do I have the teary eyes so much, man? Oh my gosh. It's very sad. I hope that when I'm an old man and you're an old woman, it'll still be the same. Aw, oh, man. I think it'll be fun. I'm sure it will. 
And they're both gonna die, right? Wow. So that is the end of Furita. Oh, man. He was crazy. The voice actor for him was very, very good, and his character was really good as well. Wow. Look at the city, man. Oh, my gosh. Chaos and destruction. Dead bodies everywhere. How the heck are we gonna rebuild after this? Oh, really? We've won! Let's go! Look at Skiyama with a little smile on his face. We won the fight! Let's go! My guy needs to... get some clothes on. <laughs> oh, look at everybody with a little smile on their face. Yeah, oh, man, warms my heart. Let's go. Takizawa there, Mrs. Mato, everybody. Look at how much it's spread throughout the city, Jesus. It's over, right? We've done our part. We've done our job. We're about to. We're about to finish it out. Come on, Kataki. You got one more task, buddy. Don't die. Not now. Not after everything. How do we disable the core? Oh, wow. Kataki's putting it at work. Aw, oh, man. Oh, my gosh. God, Kataki. Still keep pushing forward. Still push up. Get up when you fall. Because it's worth it. Aw, oh, man. Oh, wow. Wow. That might be the thumbnail just because he's crying and I'm about to cry. Oh, my gosh. Like that. Oh, my gosh. Farewell, Rize. We did it. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, because everything, because of her, we've been through all the things we've been through, and we don't regret any of it. We met Toga, we met everybody. Oh my gosh, I'm about to start crying. I'm about to start crying. Hits you in the heart, dude. Is the eyes gonna... The eyes are gonna fade away. It's done. Wow. It's kind of disgusting. Kaneki, you better run! Don't die, man. Oh no. Kaneki? Kaneki. Oh, we still have Ayato. Come on, buddy. Save your brother-in-law. Rize, what do you want? Oh, really? Yuri, Yomo. Everybody, I got the chills. You guys can't do this to me. Major chills this episode. Six years later. No! It's almost over, no! Wow, look at the city! Still kind of messed up, but also recovering, and we're doing good! We're about to get our happy end, aren't we? Oh, wow! Are you gonna cry? Are you gonna cry? I'm about to cry! I'm about to cry! <laughs> Aw, man, I want to give Juzazuzui a hug. One of my favorite characters. Grave of Jinshi Shirazu. Man, this episode hit. This episode hit, man. I'm kinda sad. I don't want this to end. I don't want this episode to end. Oh wait, copyright. Come on, you guys can't be hit me with the copyright. Gotta mute it a little bit. Hold on. Ah <laughs> oh, man, look at the city, dude. Everybody's happy. Playing in the fields. Nature and butterflies all around us. Even uh, Hide has a, a smiley mask on. Wow. Oh, look! This Toga and Kaneki's child. Growing up a little. Everybody's growing up. There's the teacup from the first season. Ah, dude. Where's Kaneki? There he is. Aw, no! Kaneki smiled. He's happy. He's happy. Oh my gosh, that's all I wanted. All I wanted this whole time was for Kaneki to be happy, and he's happy, and I'm sad, and I'm happy at the same time. I'm very sad that it's over. We're gonna see if there's an end scene, but apart from that, man, that was all of Tokyo Ghoul. We're gonna talk about this entire episode and the entirety of it, and then we're just gonna give ourselves some final thoughts about the crazy adventure of Tokyo Ghoul. Real quick, let me see if there's some end scenes and then we'll get started with that. Oh my gosh, I'm sad, dude. I'm really sad.
Look at him. Ah, oh, I'm happy. Donaghy has a family. Sure is a nice day. Yeah. The teacup. The sound of the bells reminds me of the first season, the cafe. Ah, oh, man. I got the chills. I got an override of just chills right now. That is the end of Tokyo Ghoul, and uh, I don't even know what to say. Let's talk about this episode. Ah, uh, that was the end, guys. That was the end. Hopefully, you enjoyed the reaction. If you guys did, you guys already know what to do. Be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel if you guys are new to this channel. That'd be greatly appreciated. Also, bear in mind that I do, in fact, have a Patreon. So, if you do want to view four reaction videos, get early access content and exclusive series reactions, you guys can find all that over there on the patreon page. Thank you guys so so much I appreciate each and every single one of you guys nonetheless Let's talk about this final episode of Tokyo Ghoul and give off give off some sort of like final thoughts of what I think about Tokyo Ghoul overall because man was that a ride man was that crazy and that was quite a, quite an adventure it was confusing at times because of course this like anime moves really really fast it kind of like skipped a few things skipped a lot of things in the manga there's a lot of hate towards it a lot of hate stigma and stuff towards Tokyo Ghoul but overall I enjoyed it man the fight scenes the story overall seeing Kaneki all the stuff he actually goes through the Rize scenes of Kaneki in his head and stuff seeing in the, this final episode right here, the great animation, seeing him and like, seeing Kaneki actually being happy, I think it was worth it, dude. I think it, I think it was worth it. It wasn't perfect, but it was perfect. So with that being said, that is the end of Tokyo Ghoul. Hopefully you guys did actually enjoy it. But with that being said, let's go through and talk about it and give ourselves some final reviews and thoughts and stuff. And yeah, let's get started. All right, as you guys know by now, I have to write a whole notepad list of what happened during the episode because of each and every single one of these episodes, there's just so much that actually goes on. So I have my notepad here of everything that happened up in the episode from start to finish. So with that being said, let's get started with talking about what happened inside of this amazing last episode of Tokyo Ghoul. We started the, the episode out with a battle between Kaneki and Furita and man, oh man, was that a crazy battle? The animation of that is what I've been waiting for, man. They always hit you with some great, like, final episodes. Like, the first and final episode of each season of Tokyo Ghoul is always a banger. It's always a banger, and they did not fail to disappoint this time because we got to see some crazy animation with the battle between Kaneki and Furuta. Two transformations that we'll talk about soon. Um, I gotta say, first thing first, that Furuta is absolutely mad. Absolutely absolutely crazy and I love that about him man he was actually one of my favorite villains I mean I gotta say Jason is the number one villain right he's got to be the, the the number one villain um, but Furuta has got to be top two, right? Top two, top three villains in Tokyo Ghoul, in my opinion. The voice actor for him was great. He just sounds absolutely crazy. Great voice actor, great character, great villain, and that was that was an awesome way to close out his character. The sword battle between Kaneki and Furuta was insane. Um, I think Furuta said, like, why don't we have a sword battle? Don't you have a sword, pull out a sword? And then Kaneki, like, made a sword out of his Kagane, and it was really, really cool. Then Kaneki did a transformation that looked even more cool and more awesome and that was unbelievable and un just insane to watch so that was really really cool for it to put on a little speech of you know saying everything's pointless why do we do what we do why do all, all life is, is just you know eating eating humans killing people and this and that and this is all life is is pointless is stupid this and that and then for it to did a crazy transformation himself so not only did we get to see Kaneki transform we also got to see for to transform to, into like some sort of crazy demon looking thing um looked kind of similar but actually like different than like the crazy monster that that one person transformed in like transformed to last episode but Furita's transformation was on a whole nother level of just crazy man a whole nother level that was insane to watch on like during the animation itself it was crazy and overall it was an absolutely crazy battle between Kaneki and Furuta they did a big big clash like the screen kind of like cut, cut in half between both the people's faces Kaneki and Furuta and then they clash together they're staying they're standing still then Kaneki thought of his friends you know Toga, Hide, Nishiki, Hinami everybody that he's you know actually you know befriended this whole entire time throughout the whole Tokyo Ghoul series he thought of them and then he won the fight. He won the ultimate clash. Furita got kind of like hit the wall and kind of got messed up. And then we got to see Furita's death scene with the crazy like sort of death speech. And at the end of the day, 
everything was worth it for Kaneki, man. I mean, he, he said that in the past, like, in, I think in, like, the last, like, five or four episodes when he was talking to Rize that he doesn't hate Rize. He doesn't hate Rize because, you know, of course, he accepts that, you know, he met, he met her, and although all the crazy stuff that happened... It was worth it because he met Toga, he met Nishiki, and Hinami, and everybody because of Rize. So he doesn't regret any of it, and it wasn't for nothing. All this stuff that happened, all this, all this stuff that, you know, Kaneki's been through, it wasn't for nothing. And it actually meant something because he's happy now, you know? He's so, I'm happy, dude. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we, we, I'm very happy. I got many thoughts in my mind right now to, you know, close this video out. But let's continue talking about the episode. Um... After that happened, after we got to see Furuta actually die, Kaneki destroys the core and ends Rize. Rize is kind of held on one of those like incubation sort of little like pod thingies and he ends Rize. So I'm guessing he's never going to see Rize like appear like in his head ever again because like he's like... He, he, he has closure, you know, after, you know, destroying Rize herself and destroying all this madness, he finally has closure, and I don't think he's ever going to see Rize in his mind again, talking to him and stuff, so he got past that point, the battle was won, and then we did a little six-year time jump, and it was beautiful, man. Of course, like, the city isn't, you know, fully 100% there, but we still, we have buildings now, we have fields, and, you know, butterflies flying around, and it looks a lot better than the crazy war zone battlefield that it looked like during the actual battle itself and we got what we wanted guys we got what we wanted we got the happy end that we really hoped for and i can't be more happy man i can't be more happy that we finally got the happy end that we that we wanted um so that was a great way to close the episode out kaneki has a family Kaneki smiled at the end, you know, like his little kid ran up to him, hugged his leg, and giggled a little bit, and it was so adorable, and Kaneki smiled, and the episode closed out, and then we got to see a little kind of glimpse of like, sort of like a, like an end scene, and Kaneki said, you know, it's, like, it's a nice day, he's with, you know, Toga and his kid, and Kaneki is happy, and that is how we're gonna end out of this episode, this whole series of Tokyo Ghoul, that was insane. Um, that was great. As I said, uh, multiple different times now, if you guys do want to view the full reaction of this series so you guys don't get any sort of cuts or anything whatsoever, you can actually find the full reaction over there on the Patreon page. It will be in there in, the, in, in an absolute full. Um, but man, uh, I guess now is when I talk about just how I feel about Tokyo Ghoul, how I feel about, you know, what just happened, what I just watched from episode one of season one to episode 12 of season four. That was insane, man. That was incredible. Um, this show, uh, it, it wasn't perfect, but it was perfect at the same time, as I said, and it's always going to have a, a special place in my heart, man. The, the nostalgia's already setting in, the nostalgia's already there, and I wish I could watch this anime from the beginning with my memory completely erased. I wish I could experience this show again because that was absolutely great. Of course, we had our moments where we're kind of confused, we don't know what's going on because, of course, the anime itself didn't follow suit like correctly towards the manga and that's why i guess this kind of gets a little bit of hate but just watching this as a blind viewer of you know ne never reading the manga i think this was pretty good man i think this was pretty pretty good and i enjoyed this a lot i enjoyed the adventure the fight scenes were absolute metal absolute crazy absolutely insane and oh my gosh the characters toga hide hinami Kaneki, of course, like the way that he like transforms into different people and a different personality each season is absolutely amazing. You know, the first season we have the original Kaneki, the the boy who's like lost and doesn't know who he is and is still trying to like set in. He's trying to like he's not he's not fitting in anywhere whatsoever. Has a crush on Rize and then he transforms into Kaneji and then uh, I think he Haize Sazaki and then oh my gosh, bro, just so many transformations. Even like right now in this episode he looks different he has long hair and stuff and i guess this is the final like arc version of kaneki he has long hair that little like red line and stuff through his eyes i really enjoyed the transformations of kaneki throughout the whole entire sort of thing of tokyo ghoul uh what else is there to talk about man the animation was great there was points where like the the animation was kind of like kind of repetitive i get I, I, I don't, I don't want to bash on it but there was points where the the animation were kind of repetitive where they do like a still image of like the camera shaking like the lines flaring through the sides but for the most part like these like usually in like the first episode and the last episode of each season has great fight scenes great animation and um Overall, like, the clashing of the metal of the Kagane and stuff is just so, so cool, so metal, so awesome. The soundtrack, of course, you know, Unravel and just all the different soundtrack points of Tokyo Ghoul. 
amazing. The plot was really, really good. I will say it is confusing at some times. I was fortunate enough to watch this and have some of you guys actually help me out throughout the whole entire journey. So thank you guys for that. Thank you. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys who actually helped me understand what the heck's going on even like characters names and characters genders and stuff I've, a lot of stuff is kind of confusing so I can imagine like if you're watching this alone you don't have anyone to help you you probably got to get confused or maybe you don't you know who, who knows who knows maybe I'm just stupid <laughs> but I appreciate you guys for helping me out um man that was a great adventure this show is forever gonna have like a special place in my heart and that's it that is it I, I rate this anime like an 8.5 out of 10 great great dude this anime was great tokyo ghoul awesome i'm glad we experienced this together this is one of the first animes that we've ever watched on this channel and i can't be more happy you guys actually smashed it i'm looking at the views like you know over time and like the first episode has like 10,000 views uh the second episode has like 5,000 or 2,000 3,000 views like all the episodes have been you guys have been smashing it and killing it with support the you know people are coming in people are liking the videos and i appreciate each and every single one of you guys thank you guys so so much for tuning in to this journey of tokyo ghoul at this point I'm just rambling at this point I just I just want to say that I really enjoyed this reaction of Tokyo Ghoul if you guys had actually enjoyed the reactions of Tokyo Ghoul you guys are going to do be sure to leave a like on this video subscribe to this channel comment down below what anime do you guys want me to react to next what is your favorite anime from all you guys who actually tuned in from the very very beginning thank you guys so so much I appreciate each and every single one of you guys nonetheless that is going to do it for this episode this final episode of Tokyo Ghoul. Hopefully you guys did actually enjoy this video. If you guys did, you guys are to do, be sure to leave a like on this video. All that good stuff. Show support for the Tokyo Ghoul series. Thank you guys so, so much for all your support throughout the whole entire journey of Tokyo Ghoul. But with that being said, I'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace.